Throwing a bell drain today, boys. We have a half of a booster box of Throne of Eldraine. This is the one set out of the, like, you know, the past couple years of sets that came out that I actually missed. I did not get a booster box when it first started. When it first came out, I should say. And um, I highly regretted it. And uh, luckily I have good friends. And uh, my buddy Paul has bought me, well, bought me and Nick a booster box of Throne of Eldraine to split for Christmas. So, I don't know, I think this video is going to come out a little bit after Christmas, so, um, so yeah, let's just hop right into it. Uh, I don't know what I want to pull from here. I've pulled a lot. Put these off to the side up here. I pulled a lot from this set because I've afterwards, after regretting not buying booster boxes, and uh, I, I started buying booster packs and stuff. So I have opened a lot. I just didn't, you know, get it right off the bat. Um, oh, yes. Nick opened them already. So it actually makes it easier for filming because it, these are first edition. I'm pretty sure first edition, uh, the rare is at the front. And then it goes on commons and then commons. And it actually makes it pretty easy to film because I don't think there's anything valuable uh, in the uncommon or common slot. So, no need to go through the commons or uncommons when you can just have them right in the front. And we got Foil Arkin of Absolution with a Castle Garenberg. I actually, break, sorry. I actually love this card. I love rare lands. So, so useful, so useful. All right, so I'll put that in the rare, rare slot, foil slot, and hopefully soon will be a mythic pile up above them. Keep it like this. You can still see them on camera. I know the glare is bad. I'm, I'm in a different location right now. I'm trying to find the best type of way that looks the best. I, I'm, still ex I'm, I'm still experimenting with um, the camera angle. So bear with me, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> I think this isn't bad right now. You can see the card's pretty good. Got a swamp and, ooh, the other color, Castle Vantress and blah, 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 blah. Uh, this one enters the battlefield tapped unless you control an island. And the other one is enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a forest. Pretty useful lands. I have a bunch of videos that are coming out, um, and I'm just super excited for all of them. A lot of new content, and some of that new content is, like, almost not seen on YouTube. Like, I, and you'll know what I mean when, uh, ooh, Foil Island, nice. Bone Crusher Giant. Um, and you'll know what I mean when I post it. I'm trying to get my hands on something that it's kind of expensive, but I think I can get a good deal on some stuff. So, um, there is going to be some awesome openings and uh, very unique openings, I should say. There we go. The Magic Mirror. I have no idea the, the prices in this set, by the way, guys. Um, we got a Mythic. This spell costs one less cast for each instant sorcery in your graveyard. It's a nine drop. Wow. You have no maximum hand size. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a knowledge counter on the magic mirror, then draw a card for each knowledge counter on the, on the magic mirror. That's insane. That is nuts. Especially if you get it out in the beginning of the game. That is nuts. Oh. Mythics are up top here. These are rares. All right, I don't know what number pack this is, but we are busting through these. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Oh, I'm going to put them down. Foil on common. We got a Opportunist Dragon. Used to be in my Dragon deck and then didn't really work. Didn't really work in it. It was kind of pointless. I was just putting it in there because it was a dragon and there's, there's really not many low casting dragons. 
believe it or not. I think the cheapest dragon, I want to say, is a four drop. Pretty sure I looked it up one time and it was either, I'm pretty sure it was a four drop. Oath Sworn Knight. Love Struck Beast. Alrighty. I wanna I wanna get questing beast, but I think Nick pulled it already out of his half of the box, so I don't think we'd get a duplicate of that. Oh, it's sticky. Folio fancies, that's in my um Nekusar deck. Great card. Oh, I think that I don't know. Okay, let's see. Come on, can we get one more mythic, maybe? Oh, I know what I want. I want the Great Henge. That's what I want. Happily Ever After? I knew there was one card that I really wanted, and that is definitely it. Come on. Lockmere Serpent. Come on, where are these mythics? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left. Can we get something good here? I want like a crazy pull, crazy pull. We got a foil, foil common into, oh, what is this? Look at that border on that. Giant killer. Like, uh, I don't know what you call these, um, but it's rare. <laughs> I don't know what you call that, like, bordering. Let's see, oh, we got another foil. Uncommon claim the firstborn. One drop, gain control of target creature with converted mana cost three or less until end of turn. Untap that creature, it gains haste. Ooh. Nice little one drop. Sun black. Murderous Rider. <clears throat> Alrighty. Oh, another foil. This is like every pack. Blow your house down. And it's black. Piper of the Swarm. Come on. Four packs left. Let's get a crazy pull. Foil Mythic, maybe? Ooh, I don't think I have this card. Fayborough Elder. Vigilance gets 1-1 one, one for each color among permanents you control. Tap for each color among permanents you control. Add one mana to that color. That's pretty dope. Three packs. Come on. Oh, the other one's stuck, and I saw that I wanted to look at it really quick. It's just uncommon. Oh, uh, it's an artifact. Ooh, Cauldron of Eter Eternity. I don't think that has any value to it. I could be totally wrong, but um, nonetheless, it's a mythic artifact. Gotta love that. What does it even do? The spell costs two less to cast for each creature card in your graveyard, okay? Whenever a creature you control dies, put it on the bottom of its owner's library. For three, pay two life, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Dang, that's actually pretty dope. Two, 
Two packs, including this one. Come on. We got two mythics, so we're, we're doing pretty good. Stone Coal Coil Serpent. Some dope artwork right there. Reach, trample, protection from multicolored. Wow. Enters the battlefield with X11 counters on it. Last pack magic, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Food token. Swamp. Is that a, is that a foil? Oh, it's green. Is it the Great Henge? No! Oh, <laughs> we just got trolled. Jeez, look at the freaking green you have to cast for this. Enter the battlefield. If you cast from your hand, create three food tokens, sacrifice three foods, return from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. That's pretty cool. And that is it for today's opening. We did get two mythics, so better than last than the last opening. Um, quantity wise, I don't know how much this is and I don't know how much this is. So price wise, I have no clue how we did, but, um, definitely some cool cards, some cool cards that I have not opened. Like I said, I have, I, I skipped this set when it came out. Um, I kind of wish I didn't. These two are awesome lands. I already have them, but it's always good to have duplicates for multiple decks. And yeah, that is pretty much it for today. Thank you for stopping by and cracking some packs with me, and I will catch you guys on the next episode.